Hello, my name is Susie. My name is Trang. Today we are going to teach a grade three lesson on symmetry by using dance and kaleidoscope. Teaching mathematics involves more than simply adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. The study of symmetry and its property rationally establish awareness that mathematics is truly used throughout our life. Symmetry is a fundamental part of geometry, nature, and shape. We see symmetry every day, but often do not realize it. As mathematics educators, we see an opportunity to connect symmetry with our students in the dance movements and beauty of the arts. Perhaps not many people could believe that dance and art share similar learning goals as in some mathematical concepts. The focus in this talk is to challenge primary students to use their knowledge on symmetry to create, innovate, perform, and explain certain movements in dance and kaleidoscope patterns. Math instructors can use this common interest as an opportunity to create a fun and engaging classroom. The overall and specific expectation used for this lesson reflect the 2005 revised Ontario Mathematic Curriculum for grade 3 students. Among the most interesting facts found in the study of symmetry involve nature, the creation of artwork, and even the human body. When each of these items has perfect symmetry, they appear more beautiful. Nature has a strong tendency towards symmetry. Many animals and plants are created in perfect symmetry, such as butterflies, starfish, leaves, and flowers can each be divided into at least two identical parts. It is believed that symmetry in nature has greatly influenced art and architecture. Also, symmetry is essential for a body to function correctly and avoid injury. The symmetry aids in the everyday functions of the body and when out of alignment poses great problems such as limited mobility. By the end of the lesson, students will be able to define different types of symmetry including the light of symmetry, reflection, translation, and rotation through our relational understanding demonstrate symmetry in two-dimensional space, which gives students a different perspective of surrounding objects in their daily life, create symmetrical patterns through dance activity and kaleidoscopes. Looking at the various images on this slide, can you identify which show symmetry? Write down the letters that you think have symmetry onto a blank piece of paper and provide a sentence describing what you think symmetry is. In this activity, you will be assigned to work in pair. Each pair is going to stand facing each other with a straight line drawing between. The partner stay on the left will be the leader for a couple of minutes and the other partner will be the puppet. Notice that as the leader does the movement, the puppet will move the way that the leader image in a mirror would be moving. Also notice that any time the leader turn, the mirror mover have to turn the opposite way, just like the image in the mirror would be. And we will switch the rope after that. I will be the leader and I will be the puppet. to explore the line of symmetry by using the folding test. We are going to take paper cutout shapes, some symmetric and some not, and we're going to fold the shapes to find their lines of symmetry. And wherever they fold and you find a symmetry, you will take a pen or a pencil and draw a line where that fold is. So when you're doing the folding test, when the folded part sits perfectly on top, all, which means all edges matching, then the fold line is a line of symmetry. So questions you should ask yourself is, how did you fold the shapes? Was there, did certain shapes have certain amount of uh, lines of symmetries? And what do you notice about a circle? In geometry, we learn that polygons can be classified using properties like number of sides, length of sides, angle measurement, and diagonals. Triangles and quadrilaterals can also be identified using their symmetries. Let us take 
uh, triangle as an example. Not only can we identify a triangle using its symmetries, but also it is specifically defined by its symmetries. For example, if we are looking at a triangle that has only one reflection symmetry and no rotational symmetries, what kind of triangle must we have? We can't have a scaling triangle because all of the side lengths are different, so none of them would match up if reflected. We can't be looking at an equilateral triangle because it has rotational symmetry and three lines of reflection, therefore we must have an isosceles triangle. Why does this make sense? Because two sides are equivalent in length, these will be the only sides that when reflected will mirror each other. Thus there will only be one line of reflection and no rotational symmetry. A symmetry is a transformation that leaves that object unchanged. Hmm, that sounds a bit abstract. So let us unpack it through a particular example like this equilateral triangle. From this picture, you see that if we rotate a triangle through 120 degrees through its center, we end up with the triangle that is identical to the original. In this case, the object is the triangle and the transformation that leaves the object unchanged is rotation to 120 degrees. So we say that an equilateral triangle is symmetric with respect to rotation of 120 degrees around the center. If we rotate the triangle by 90 degrees instead, the rotate triangle will look different from the original. In other words, an equilateral triangle is not symmetric with respect to rotation of 90 degrees around the center. The order of rotation symmetry is how many times a shape will fit over itself during one complete rotation. We all see many company logos every day. These logos often have symmetry. We come to understand that the number of positions a figure can be rotated to without bringing in any changes to the way it looked originally it is called rotation symmetry. My question for you is which of the following letters have rotation symmetry? We see that when S is rotated by 180 degrees, it accurately fit on the original shape. So the letter in shape number four has a rotation symmetry. Let us take a look at another type of symmetry. You are given a quarter of a shape. You need to reflect it in two mirror lines. How does it look like? And this is how it should look like. And now you are given a shape with shaded squares reflected in two mirror lines. Please complete the shading of the square. Does your picture look like this? When you look in the mirror, you see your reflection. So it is easy to identify that when a shape has a line of symmetry, it has reflection symmetry. We come to understand that if there is at least one line which split the image in half so that one side is the mirror image of the other, Reflection symmetry is also called light symmetry and mirror symmetry because there is a light in the figure where a mirror could be placed and the figure would look the same. Let us take a look at another type of symmetry. Have you ever seen a wallpaper border with a pattern on it? Did you notice that a particular object or group of objects is repeated over and over again. Patterns like this occur in many man-made objects like brick on a house or in nature in things like a honeycomb. We come to understand that translation symmetry has undergone a movement, a shift or a slide in a specific direction through a specific distance without any rotation or reflection. So now we're going to do another activity where you will be watching a, a Chinese dance video. 
and in the video you'll notice different types of symmetry so whenever you see a rotation symmetry you will clap your hands when you see a reflection symmetry you will stomp your feet and when there is a translation symmetry you will hit your thighs <laughs> This is time for you to create your own dance pattern. Please partner up with a friend. You and your friend need to create three different dance moves, assuring that all three mentioned type of symmetry are going to be performed, including rotation, reflection, and translation. Each move of the dance should be completed in eight count from one to eight. Depending on your ability, a 10 to 15 minutes of the class time could be enough for you to invent the three dance movement. Let's enjoy it! You then perform three different dance moves and reflect on the symmetry in your performance with your classmate. The purpose of this activity is to make sure that you are learning a concept through a fun and healthy learning environment. We do not expect you to be the greatest dance performers. However, we assess your creative and innovation and see how you and your partner collaborate with each other while experimenting dance and realizing different type of symmetry. Now let us explore the symmetry in Kaleidoscope. A kaleidoscope is a tube containing color pieces of glass and carefully placed mirror. When the kaleidoscope is held to the eye and rotated, the viewer will see colorful symmetric patterns. We encourage you to work in a group of four to five people and we will provide you a kaleidoscope in class. Um, you encourage to uh, explore different pattern of symmetry through kaleidoscope. And to give you some hint how to do this activity, we will show you the video how we make um, different pattern of symmetry um, in kaleidoscope. Hope you enjoy watching the video. <laughs> We have created very simple patterns by using fingers which look amazing through the kaleidoscope with two mirror reflection and three mirrors reflection. We took pictures of each finger's pattern and then changed background color and finger color by using Photoshop. We then make a video including these pictures that was recorded through the kaleidoscope. That symmetry aids students in learning how to classify objects according to the arrangement of their constituent parts. Ordering and classification are skills that are used throughout many daily tasks and mathematical skills, and the ability to notice patterns or similarities will make these tasks much easier to carry out. Also, it helps develop students' spatial skills. Children learn concepts about geometric shapes at a very early age. They learn first about a shape as a whole, but with the help of symmetry, children learn how to focus on the characteristics and parts of an object. We believe that by applying type of symmetry through dance and kaleidoscope activity, students will begin to see math everywhere and as an important part of how we function and see things. We hope that by studying symmetry, students can make a connection between math and the real world with a deeper meaning and relational understanding and not just something they have to do.